Out in the lagoon lies the bomb raft, below which is suspended the atom bomb itself. Soon comes the signal, abandon ship, and each man is checked as the crews leave for the safety area many miles away. Admiral Parsons, atom chief for the Navy, reports to Admiral Blandy that all is ready in the target zone. Close by, the firing ship takes on board the scientific team who will time the experiment and set off the blast by radio beam. These are the instruments that will unleash the world's most deadly power against the modern armaments of every type of naval craft. One minute to go. Cameras and the eyes of the waiting fleet are trained on the blast point as the seconds go by, measuring the approach of a tremendous climax. Thirty seconds to go. Miles away, the tremendous roar of the explosion accompanies the typical mushroom shape of the atom blast, a sight which makes history for the motion picture camera. Flying through the radioactive clouds, a pilotless plane films more amazing scenes of this colossal eruption on the waters of the Pacific. Here's a view from another angle, this time at short range from the camera tower on Bikini Atoll. Locked out spaces on the film show where the sensor eliminated views of ships. Thousands of tons of water hurled a mile into the air by the blasts are now pouring back into the lagoon. Seen on the television screen, huge waves move towards the ships, sweeping them up in a deadly radioactive tide. Into the camera plane once more for a final view of one of the great newsreel scenes of all time, the wild and grim beauty of an inferno made by man. <laughs> 